how close were we? That's it. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So, uh, this guy doesn't need any introduction all the way from Las Vegas, Nevada. You know him, you love him. They have a podcast, Ice Cream Social, and all kinds of stuff going on. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Matt and Mattingly. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Hey, uh, this is my old stomping grounds. This is true. Uh, this is a homecoming for me. I was born in this town. Uh, I spent my first two years of life here. Very memorable. Um, and then uh, I actually went to U of L for a couple years before I quit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go and, uh, Cardinals. <laughs> go Cards, baby. I did my uh, did my first improv shows at the Twice Told Coffee House just down the road. Back go in Macchiato with uh, with my first improv troupe, Improv Nito. Improv Nito. How did you figure out a way to combine those two words? What me? <laughs> All right, somebody else. Thank goodness. Give credit where credit is due. Uh, I'm Matt. I've uh, I've been here once before. <laughs> wow. All right. <laughs> Not even a charity laugh for, for, for me, no? Okay, fair enough. That's fair. Uh, Paul and I are going to be doing some improv for you. Um, we're going to be doing a different style, but uh, most of you are familiar. We're going to be doing long form, which means we won't be doing stopping and starting. We're doing a lot of suggestions. We're going to suggest at the top, and we're going to run for like 20 minutes or so, just a continuous... Uh, series of made-up scenes. Uh, if you doubt the realness of that it's made up, uh, that means we're doing a good job, so we're fine with that. Yep. And then... Uh, Please think it's made up. It's not made up. Yeah, that's fine. Um, and then uh, we're not going to ask for like, a book or anything because we're from Las Vegas, so we're not even used to even thinking about that. So, um, <laughs> Vegas people are literate, is what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, we all, we're all caught up now. Okay, great. So, um, uh, can we have your favorite song lyric, please? Your He's actual favorite long song lyric. What's that? He's on down the road. He's on, He's down, on the down, road. down the road. Thank you. Thank you. That's gonna inspire our whole piece. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't go. Too late. What? Too late. You had your chance. I I know I uh I thought you were bluffing and uh, I wasn't. And, you, and you, you're, you're calling my bluff, and uh, I thought that I didn't even know if that motorcycle worked. Really... <laughs> Not well. <laughs> then please don't. But come. well enough. That's how badly I want to leave you, Stan. I'm taking this poorly tuned bike out into I don't know where. Right. Just listen to yourself. Don't you feel like this is like a cry for help, right? Can't cry you... for help? No. Yeah. It's an escape plan, Stan. But it's a, it's a bad one. You'd rather possibly be dead than be with me. Trying to work on something. Right? Yes. So I had unprotected sex with people with AIDS. Who cares? <laughs> What's the big deal? You know, like, I just feel like something we can get past. I know. Do it once, shame on you. No, do it once, it's, shame it's, on me. It's because it was my father. <laughs> thank you. Okay. Thank you for communicating. Thank you for being open. <laughs> Look, it's how many times do you promise this? <laughs> Just let me leave you. Not more than twice. Oh! <laughs> I was so worried. You said, how many times? And I was like, please don't ask how many times I fucked your dad. And I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and like, there was more than the once? Was that? There was more than the once? Oh, I brought this right to my own doorstep. <laughs> <laughs> um, I wouldn't call it unfair. Uh, but it definitely would happen more than once. Like, how many times did you prime it? Too much! <laughs> it's flooded! <laughs> I'm gonna take the other bike. No, don't, don't. <laughs> <laughs> I know that bike's a death trap. You I know! I know! Three men have died on this bike. Yeah. <laughs> Just from riding it. 
I'm not even trying to do anything. You're going. One, two. Good memory. <laughs> it didn't mean anything. Oh. It turned over. Yes. Did you hear that sound? I'm a bug chaser. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> then and I know that cuts deep. No! And I know that, no, no, no! A lot of people are. A lot Dan, of people, please don't come Dan, here. Dan, let me chase your bugs! <laughs> I give you permission to chase your bugs. <laughs> I am leaving. Look, this is a toxic relationship. You are a toxic human being full of actual toxins. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! Explosion! Ah! 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 My back is on fire! Ah! It's a death trap! Ah! I thought I'd be a different case! Ah! Well, I'm staying the night. I hope you're happy. I am. <laughs> <laughs>
minute of time, all I would have done was make a phone call. But I don't want to make a call while you're looking at me or listening to me. <laughs> Was the oven here when you bought the place, or is that oven uh, here since you've owned it? It has been here the whole time. Who is he? Huh? <laughs> oh, sorry, are you referring to the oven as a he? Sure, if that's what you want. It <laughs> <laughs> is a fairly masculine oven. However, the big wide opening always makes me think of a leg. <laughs> I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm uncomfortable in your home. Well, this might not work out. Let me go get the phone number of the man who was dying here before I was my mom. No, why, why, what, what could we possibly do with that number? I think I'm not going to stay. What? I basically was just going to call my husband and be like, get back here fast. Are you on your phone? No, I'm telling you what I was going to do. I haven't found a number yet. What number are you even still looking for? The number of the people who are going to the man who died before a body house. Why? <laughs> so we can ask them about the oven if it's a water burn. <laughs> <laughs> Closer to the dog. Okay. <laughs> still a bit smaller, because still dog proportion. If I, but if I had like, so like I, you, this may be too TMI for you, but I'm, I'm very good at a clencher. So I can take like a string of my loofah, I can hold it, and then the sponge, and when I kind of dangle the water, that would be like the tail of the dog. If you were in that mood. <laughs> Alright, alright, so 
That's part one. Part two is Dorothy is still the same size. <laughs> Normal size Dorothy. Is she the owner of Toto? She wishes. She's the trier to take care of her of Toto. One more time? She tried to take care of him. Oh. But he's huge. Yeah. And he, she's, she's like a flea on his body. Okay. <laughs> I'm still with you, believe it or not. <laughs> one of the properties we own is Clifford the Big Red Dog. <laughs> Have you ever read the book Clifford the Big Red Dog? What's it about? <laughs> <laughs> it's a children's book about a small girl as a giant. <laughs> TMX. <laughs> a giant they are dog. listening to me. No, this book was published before you started talking. That can't be true. That can't be true. That is the vision I have for Toto. A giant, blood-red beast standing in the middle of Oz, trampling all that oppose him. No, I, I'm not your guy. I'm sorry. You have to find someone else for this project. Listen. I, I gotta call you. my therapist. I respect your artistic call. I respect your artistic integrity. Hey, I want you to know that you. Yeah, have, it's me. You inspired. <laughs> no, the dog. Hold on. Regardless of whether you make a movie, I will never bathe the same way ever again. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna start the all four method. It covers a lot more ground. <laughs> Water dis dispersal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Right? Yes. No, I'm talking about how I shower. <laughs> yes. Uh-huh. No, with another man. <laughs> We're not currently bathing. No, he's not. I don't... I don't know. He produces the Wizard of Oz, so... Until my back is better. <laughs> Which could be a day. But you've already made it clear that you don't want to figure out a way for us to continue, right? No. So get out. <laughs> get that, that's what you, you're just going to bandage my back and send me on my way. I'm not even going to bandage your back. <laughs> <laughs> my back is raw from the explosion. I might have AIDS. Look, we're both having a weird day. <laughs> that is your fault. Yeah, and whose fault? You've got a death trap. <laughs> no one used a death trap. Knowing three people had died using it. We both made mistakes. Thank you. All right, so let's say I do say. Yeah. Let's say I do say. What? Yeah. Go ahead, I'm listening, I'm listening. <laughs> Are you... What? <laughs> now? If... I respect your dad. If he texts, I'm going to look at it. <laughs> <laughs> You're still in contact with my father? Every day? You said it was a... We're not fucking every day. We're, but we both don't want to keep fucking anymore. We're just back to you being... Right we are back to father-in-law, son-in-law. That's the reason we leave. currently have. Right. I should leave. I should have left before. <laughs> Why does it bother you? Why does it bother you that you're having a sexual relationship with my father? I did have a sexual relationship with Currently just a friendship, that a familial friendship. It wouldn't bother me if that was your relationship. <clears throat> but I thought we were the relationship. We are. We could be. No. You're wanting to still have a relationship with my father. I still want to have, I want to still want your dad to be my dad-in-law. Can I take some of these soups? <laughs> what? Which ones? The pea soups. No. <laughs> You know that's all I eat. <laughs> Just one. Why do you want one pea soup? So I don't starve on my way to wherever I'm going. <laughs> there's, a, there's a clam bisque can. You can take the clam bisque can. <laughs> Fine. You like clam chow. That's, that's one step of it. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. I'm gonna take the third bus. <laughs> <laughs> Not the perfectly good bike. <laughs> I saved it for last. Don't take the perfect bike that nothing can go wrong on a bike. Don't take it. Sorry. All right, I admit it. I changed tactics and it didn't work. I tried to play tough. Let me bandage you before you go. Too late. 
Maybe if you had to take... What? It's a perfectly good bike. You only need to prime it once. <laughs> I'm going to travel a little oil rich then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's smoking a bit, but she'll go. I like how you keep this perfectly good bike in the house. <laughs> Where I used to sleep. That's right. You gave it my spot. That's right. Well, now we're both leaving. And this empty hole can be filled with my father for all I care. <laughs> Do you want me to open the door so you can? No, I'm gonna go through it. That's honestly impossible. <laughs> this is a perfectly good bike. I can get enough speed. Just break through a wall of a house? <laughs> a door. Oh, you're gonna go through the door? Yes. Well, you asked if you wanted to open the door. Yes. You said and I no. said no. I'm gonna go through it. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> this is, you're impossible, Stan. You're impossible. I can't even have a simple conversation about driving a motorcycle out of your living room the through the door. Straight ahead. But I'm going to go around that. <laughs> and then through the door. Is the screen up? Yes. <laughs> that could be a problem. <laughs> if you, open, you can open the screen. Thank you. Thank you. She got the latch on it. It's the, the metal thing. The hissy latch. The hissy latch thing. Yes. The metal part's not sticking to the thing. It, stick. it slides back a few inches. Oh, uh, that's doesn't... fine. I'm just clattered past. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> door is back closed. You can make your dramatic exit. Will you shut the door again? Yes. You don't have to now. It's already open. Oh, <laughs> will you make up your mind? You're impossible. You're impossible. I was gonna go through the door in a dramatic way, and yeah. you've taken all all of the fire out of me. I'm it. trying to help you accomplish your drama. You've helped me do nothing but be sadder about the future I have ahead, oh. or lack thereof. That's you sound just like your dad when you talk. To oh! <laughs> Throw that in my face! Throw that in my face! You hey. toilet of a person! <laughs> At least you don't have AIDS. Count your blessings. Uh, I don't know. I don't know, Stan. What, you'd rather have AIDS? I don't know if I do! Oh, that's actually a good point. <laughs> Alright, the door and the screen are open. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, the stairs! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I made it to the sidewalk, Stan! I'm still watching. <laughs> Why? What? Why are you still watching? I don't want you to go! So you do care? What the fuck? Yes! <laughs> then call it off with my dad. Okay. I'm calling him now. You mean it? I'm calling him. <laughs> hey, it's me. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on, it's coming up the stairs. <laughs> Oh. oh, okay, I didn't realize you were taking it back. Okay, I'll call you back. Okay, bye. When I call him back, I will break up with what? him. What? I drove back up the stairs! He's bathing! I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll break it up with him after. I thought I just let him get through a shower. I will call him. I'll I'm walking. I'm breaking up with him right now. I'm walking. <laughs> I'm walking. I got voicemail, but I'm gonna, I don't leave it. I'm gonna leave it out as a voicemail. No, I'm just leaving. I'm just leaving. Hey, it's Theodore. The bisque is in the motorcycle's pouch. Uh, your son is leaving me uh, because we're not breaking up, so I think we should break up. Uh, I'm curious to know your thoughts on this. Uh, give me a call back. Goodbye forever, I'm leaving. And your son's saying goodbye to forever. I believe just to me, he probably still called Timmy's your son. And, uh,. Also, uh, I don't think we should bet both favorites in the parlay on something. Okay. <laughs> did you really? Did you I'm really? way down the sidewalk. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> what are you following me for? I broke up with him. <laughs> I don't believe you. Check, check his voicemail. How could I do that? <laughs> He's your father. Go to his house. Get on his phone. 
No. No. What? You want me to go to my father? No. How does no? He doesn't have an old ass phone. I'll call him again and I'll break up with him again. Uh, hi. Did you get my message? <laughs> oh, you didn't? You just, okay, you just picked up. That was your shower. <laughs> okay, would well, you do me a favor? Check your voicemail and then call me right back. Okay. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> no! <laughs> First of all, yes. he leaves specific messages when he's going to take a shower? No, I called him and he got out of the shower to answer the call. I said, you're showering. I said, go ahead and take your shower. So he did. So when I called the second time, he was still in the shower and didn't answer. Now, when I just called, it's been enough time that he's done with the shower, but he had checked his voicemail. He just picked up the phone after he got out of the shower. What don't you understand about this? <laughs> Are you broken up with my father or not? As soon as he checks his voicemail. That's it! Out. That's it! <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> 
You got the part. 